ADOS or advanced driver assist systems are becoming more and more commonplace on modern automobiles. Even simple repairs such as an alignment or a windshield replacement need calibration of these systems. Let's walk through a recalibration of the windshield camera using this John Bean TruePoint machine behind me. Okay, so here we are on the home screen of the TruePoint system. Now you'll notice on the screen we have a workflow. So first one is shop preparation. You want to make sure you check into that, uh, whatever needs to be done there. Vehicle preparation as well. Also need to mount the wheel targets. Now we've already done that for the essence of time here. If you need to know how to do that, there is a demo video built in which you can watch. Next thing we would do is start the ADOS process. Now you can do it multiple different ways. We can ID manually your make model, or there's a built-in VIN scanner so you can scan the barcode on the VIN. Or in this case, this Forester is already loaded in there in my history. So I'll just double click on that and pull that up out of my history. Okay, so this is our vehicle history screen. It shows any reports that may have been generated in past previous calibrations. Uh, in this case, I'm just gonna hit use vehicle on the bottom right, and that'll load the vehicle into the system. Uh, now, what do I need? What features are installed on this vehicle? So it does have front camera and it does have side and rear radar. So I'll hit next to continue. All right, so the first thing we need to do is perform the alignment verification. Now it has us do a few things with the frame. We can see we're a little outside of that target and the beam needs to be lowered a little bit. So we'll lower the beam down so it can see all the wheel targets. There we go. Now we see all four green check marks on the screen. That indicates it can see all four targets. Now we're a little back and a little bit to the left. So we need to move this frame forward and angle it slightly. Something like that. So once we're in the green, we pause, let the frame settle down, moves to the next screen. Now it wants us to do the rollback, rolling forward and rolling backward on the vehicle. And this will help verify that alignment is correct. So I'll move this around so we can see on the other side of the vehicle. Okay, so the vehicle is already in neutral, so we have to roll forward first. So roll forward until it gets into the green. Then we need to roll it backwards. It's in the green there. There we go. And one more forward. Turns green. Then we should have green check marks on all four wheels. Looks good. Next step when it cycles through is we need to put it in park and put the parking brake on. Okay, so once it's been put in park and the parking brake is set, we'll just hit next and go on to the next procedure. The next procedure is going to be advanced floor level compensation, so it requires a, a special pointer target. So we're going to go do that counterclockwise around the car. Okay, so we'll take this pointer target and we need to make sure we line it up with the bottom of the wheel and with the existing target that's there. We should get a green check mark when it's done. Okay, move to the left rear. Same thing, right rear in front of the target, and right front. Okay, so I'll swing this back around and we will start our front camera adjustment. We're gonna have to move the rig around. So you can see we come back up with our target and we're quite a bit to the front and quite a bit off to the side. So we will just move this backwards a bit. Okay, so once we get fairly close within the yellow circle, we can lock our wheels. And then we can use this plate to make fine adjustments. Once we're in the green, it'll settle down. Next thing we need to do is adjust the beam height. Slide that up a bit. Right there. Let it settle. So once we have the frame in position, we have the, tells us what target we need to use. We need to mount our target to the frame. So we have an SUB FC01 is the target we're going to use. There's the snap-on part number under there. And then we need to position the target mounts. Now there's electronic linear sensors here on the sides of these frames. And all we need to do is use the screen 
It'll tell us how far we need to go. Went a little too far there. There we go. Lock it into place. Go over here. Same thing. Lock that one into place. And then we'll go grab our target. Okay, it looks like the frames moved out of position. Now one of the key points to the true point system is it always is measuring and, and adjusting and seeing where it is in 3D space. So it looks like we need to hit the back button and just double check our adjustments on the frame. So we'll go back to that front camera again. And we'll see where the target is. Okay, that's still in the green. So that's okay. Next screen, looks like it's just when I put the target on, it moved one of the brackets out slightly. So it looks like I need to move it just a little bit, about four millimeters in. And that's where we need it to be. So now that my target is here, we'll hit next. And now it's time to hook up the scan tool. So we need to connect the calibration tool and start the ADOS recalibration procedure. And then when we're done, we can click the box that says the procedure is complete. Okay, so I have my Apollo D9 connected to the vehicle now. Now I'd like to note that any snap-on scan tool with the current software will be able to perform these types of calibrations on these vehicles. Uh, just if you do need the targets, you would need the targeting system as well. Uh, I'm going to scroll down to the EyeSight system and it needs to ID the ECU. It's going to communicate. And then if we go down to functional test, that's where the calibration will be found. So on this screen, we have clear active lane keep system learning value and camera adjustment help. I don't actually have a function on this screen to be able to do an adjustment. So let's go into help and see if it will help. It says to access the camera adjustment functionality, you must exit this system and reselect the system while pressing and holding the pre-collision break off and the lane departure warning off buttons on the camera cover or the lower left corner of the dashboard at the same time. The camera adjustment function will then appear on the functional test menu. So let's do that. We'll back out here, hit the back button, hit the back button one more time so we're out of the system. Hit those two buttons on the top, go back into the EyeSight system, functional tests, and now there's my camera all adjustment mode replacement removal. Now before I need to perform this function, I also need to be out of the vehicle. So I just gotta exit and we'll just hang this out to the window. So for camera all adjustment mode, it says replacement or removal, we'll select that. And it says when performing this procedure, the following conditions apply. Headlights need to be turned off. Vehicles parked on a level surface. All tires are inflated to the correct pressure. The vehicle does not have a load, including the driver or the passenger, so that's why we had to get out. The front wheels are set to the straight ahead position when the steering wheel is properly centered. And there's approximately 16 feet of flat level space in front of the vehicle. So we continue, all of those functions are met. Set up the targets correctly with reference to the workshop manual or use the ADOS recalibration system. So we're using an ADOS recalibration system here, the true points, so we'll hit continue. And it's going to do the procedure within the ECM. Okay, there we go. It says it's complete with a 94% accuracy rate, which it, it counts as a pass. So camera adjustment is successful. We're gonna exit the test, turn the ignition off for at least 10 seconds to save the adjustment and complete the procedure. So this was a static recalibration using the uh, target. And then we also need to perform a dynamic recalibration by driving the vehicle down the road as well. Once we're done with that, we can also pull up an ADOS recalibration report that'll automatically generate in the tool, we can save it. It will save to the tool. It will also save to the Snap-on Cloud for further sharing with customers, insurance companies, things like that. Okay, so now that we're done with the scan tool, we can come back over to the true point, select procedure completed, and we are done. We'll hit next. And that's going to bring us to, if we want to select the next procedure, we can go and do so. Otherwise, the front camera is complete.